So hello guys welcome back to another video and in this video we will see what is race condition bugs, how to find them and we will see some resources and report breakdowns for better understanding it and in the end I will give you some cheat sheets so you can understand it properly and find them. So let's get into the video. So hello guys, so here we are on the computer screen now, first of all, we will start from what is this condition, then we will see how to find data and what are its impact and then we will see a report breakdown, but first of all I have this price for you, so let me go to my browser, here we are, you can go on this website, this cyberwar.com slash free webinar, you can also find the link in the description, so here you can see that uh, I am announcing a free webinar for JavaScript and here is the registration form you can just simply click on the button wait a minute, the start to is running yeah here we are, this is a free JavaScript webinar you can click here and you can register for the free webinar and the webinar will be held on registration July 2022 and timing will be 7 pm to 9 pm this is the estimate time of ending 9 pm which may can take longer now Let's go back to the topic. So our topic was what is race condition? Okay, so first of all, let's understand what is race condition. So here it is. A race condition is a flaw that produces an unexpected result when time of x is impact other x. So this is a little bit complicated race condition definition. Okay, let's check some more definitions so I can just clear it out. So here I am having some tabs open about race condition. Here it is. Elaborated base position. So it's released by Mandeep Jadon. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm not going to be right. So a race condition occurs when multiple threads simultaneously access the same thread for your resource without looking at synchronization. This will result in inconsistency of the output. So you will get a clear idea in the last definition. So let me tell you what is exactly race condition. This is a cheat sheet, you will get it in the end. We'll share the link in the description. Now race condition in reliability mode is also a brief description about the race conditions. So first of all, let me tell you what is a race condition actually. So you can see that a race condition is somewhere you are just trying to a race condition is a product produce unexpected result when timing of an action. So for example, uh, there is a request A or there is a shopping site named something.com and there is a feature of coupon codes. Right. So when you enter a code like ABCD100 and you are getting a 100 rupees off on a, on a random product of 500 rupees. So when you hit that code you will get 100 rupees off, you know that. But what happens if a lot of requests of the same coupon code are supposed you are sending 10 requests you capture the request of the coupon code and you send all the 10 requests at the same time so for example the time is like uh, 12 o'clock 15 minutes and 10 seconds so what happens if all the 10 requests are sent to the server on the same second on that same particular second and what what happens if if you send all the all the requests at the same time then what should happen only one should be only one request should be processed and we will get a discount and we should get a discount of hundred rupees but if we are if we are hitting that uh, ten requests and the pro when we are getting the product for free or the coupon code is applied five times okay so where you are getting the product of 500 for 500 and after using after using code you are getting it for 400 or, or discount of 100 rupees but we are sending 10 requests of the 
open code at the same time at the same time and then what should happen only one request should be processed and we will get a discount of only 100 rupees but all requests are processed and we got the product of 500 rupees in zero so if you look at the concept which is applied yet and you will see that this is the exact race condition this is the concept behind the race condition we are using the timing to affect the processing of the website so here you can understand this, uh, this definition clearly a race condition is a flaw that produces an unexpected result when the timing of action impacts other action now you can just take this same scenario on same scenario on on you can use the same scenario on uh, on sort of some social media apps for getting followers social media apps for followers some hacking apps for or some ctf apps for extra points ctf there are a lot of examples CTF website for extra points and follow there is a lot of things follows, likes, comments and various things a lot of things you can also use in shopping websites shopping webs so this is how it is actually going on alright now how you will do that so that's why I am having the reading blog here we just got an idea of what's actually happening now this is a theoretical example uh, race condition detected from OR race condition may occur when a process is critically or unexpectedly dependent on the sequence of the timing of the event in a web application environment where multiple requests can be processed at a given time developer may be concurrent to be handled by the framework server of programming language the following example will illustrate the potential congruency of the problem. You can do this thing, let's go here. So, account A is having 100 rupees of 100 credits, account B is having 100 credits too. Both users want to transfer 10 credits from account A to account B. Now, account A has 10 credits, account B has 120 credits because two users have transferred 10 times credits. Now, however, Due to concurrency issue, the following results will be obtained. User 1 checks the value of account 100, user 2 checks the value of account 400. Now user 2 takes 10 credit and put it in the account B, which is 110 credit. Then the user 1 do the same thing, right? And you can see that both of the, when we check their account, both of are getting 100. So user 1 takes 10 credits from account A and still believe in contain 100 credits and puts into the bank account B. So you can see that there is a race condition happening. And now both of them have uh, uh, did that transaction on the same time at the same on the same on the same period of time. So what's actually happening is only 10 credits are rejected but 20 credits are added. You can see that. So this is what actually theory behind the race condition. Now there is a bug that the Mandip found is here. While there were many race condition bugs, I found which was pretty straightforward to exploit. But I will be discussing about a specific one. Okay, okay. Accessing multiple consoles by free users. So there is a site which provides free consoles to users and some limited space with bandwidth. So he is having the three tier account free account and to paid account so one restriction for the free account that there are number of consoles consoles that the user can create was limited to two consoles per user so what's actually happening is when you create an account you get the request to creation which is sent at the same i thought it would be possible to attack to bypass the number of consoles so we just try to introduce the maximum possible number and start to enter the get request and now see what server behaves so we got some 
unfortunate uh, unfortunate a response so you can see that the only response and he is not successful in the next particular attack now he just tried to do the other thing so now the problem is race condition work is that it is not executed in one go so depend on various factors like concurrent number and thread in server and your own internet and other factors so there is a lot of factors which usually depends because you are sending a lot of requests at a particular small period of time so a lot of things usually depends now he tried shooting that request multiple times with 100 threads but got the same reply only two was created now he tried the workaround and here you can use the turbo interrupt for that so now let's see so he tried simulating the same attack but this time he removed the one of the controls manually from ui while thread were being executed and you can see that there are three requests got the same response and created a free account so what he did is he did he tried to do some removing like he he tried to remove the he really tried to simulate the attack but this time he removed one of the console manually from user interface while threads are executed so as you can see that the following screenshot is getting third screenshot got the three requests from the got the same response so he successfully bypassed the console limit of three accounts so what he did actually do is he created a first account he created a second account and the threads are also being executed you can null 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 request you are getting null request again 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 but what you did here is you remove you remove a request like the threads are going on the enter is trying to fire up request 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 but on the same time you remove one console from that then you can see that there are three consoles created you can two were created before and one is again created when you remove that and you remove the uh, when you remove one old when you remove the console manually from the ui so this is what actually happening is you are able to bypass the limit and here you got the this condition part this is not that simple one this is not a complex this is how it actually works now this condition are mostly on the endpoints which deal with adding removing changing of a particular resource not this factor they may or may not be replicated on one go try again and again the best use case is to test it by executing parallel threads and making changes on a particular resource at the same time and there are higher chances that you can get the execution and ideally you should shoot up 100 plus threads if you are trying in work you can also try the um, turbo intruder for this thing it is also useful in it now let's see Ahead. So I think we have played the concept of race conditions and how to get the race condition. So we got the topic for race condition. How to find the race condition? What are the tips we can use? What are the best tactics? What are the best tips we can use? Here it is. Now let's move to the keyboard section. So here it is. Race condition in black condition. As I told. CTA website you can use the race condition for extra points and other things. So here we are. This report describes race condition. The low authenticated user just submit to a single flag multiple times, including the user points. So you can guess how it is working. User submitted. Let's look at the different steps. It will be easy to understand. Login is a valid user account. Solve one of the challenge and get the flag. We need what one point. Go to submit page. Page. Sorry. Put the flag that was found and intercept the post request. Intercept the post request and it is sent to the flag submission. Now it is sent to the flag submission. Now you can use workflow. So now you just have to submit the post request several times in short time frame. So you can just use. 100 plus threads as the tip which is doing the previous media blog so you can use so you can use in, uh, intruder for that thing and you can also use this to raise the web which is usually I think it is built for raise condition according to its name so you can use that thing now you just have to submit the submit the post flag several times in a short time frame and you will see that you will get extra points 
So here is the team that I use in the POC. The POC is here. There are the teams and you can see that I can got some extra points here as you can see there. You can see this here. You can see that. You got a lot of points. You got 70 team points. Now let's move to the next POC. So there is it. Condition exit. Okay, what does that mean? Yes, condition leads to undeletable group members. What does that mean? Let's take a look on this. So this person steps. Create the account. First account will be user account. Second account will be normal account. Create a group from first account and create an invitation link. Now join the invitation link. Join using the invitation link on the second account and intercept the request. So you want the request. Yes. Now repeat the above request in parallel and add it for five parallel requests. And you will be able to add your token two times. So you are getting added multiple times in a single website. You can see this. So this is another good example of these conditions. Now hiding there is this condition when following a user. That's a great thing. You can imagine that what actually happening is you are just doing something like uh, hitting that same request of following someone multiple times. Now go to any user's profile, turn on intercept, and click follow button, right click on the follow request, send it to Turbo Intruder. This is a tool you can use Turbo Intruder. I will mention a link in the description. How do you use a turbo intruder? It's simple, it's not that hard. It's not even hard. Now add a fake header that contains this value. These four turbo intruders. Uh, so there is a code which you have to fire in turbo intruder. Now you click attack button and send 30 requests. Then check the status code. And you will see the response to your own status. And you will follow the same person multiple times. You can see that. Here is a live POC. You just finish the doing a turbo editor thing and you can see that the person is getting followed by the same ID lot of time. <coughs> now here, they can just allow to redeem multiple time gift cards which leads to money. Thing. Preparation works with Pro and Turbo Intruder. Now the attack is login, buy a gift card, reading the gift card at this endpoint, and intercept this request, send it to Intruder, and send this Python code into Intruder, Turbo Intruder. Now, as I said, we are going to just create a HTTP header for Turbo Intruder. We created that header, click attack, and you will see multiple 200 points, and you will get that. You got 3 minutes. So gift card is of 25 dollars and you got this uh, LED in 7 times. Let's take an example. Oh. So that was for today's video. So for like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to join the free webinar.